In this video, we will be connecting the Prismic Backend CMS to our front end. For this, head on to prismic.io and create a new account. Once you have created a new account, you will be redirected to the dashboard where you can create a new repository. Now I have already created a repository within this name, new site, so I will click on it. And when you are creating the repository, you would be asked what kind of package that you want to use. Choose the free version. And then you won't be seeing any of these articles so go to the custom type and create new i have already created two custom types article and trending i will create a new one for example now you can choose the type or uh, the you can create a custom type with a repeatable type or a single type now since these news articles will be repeatable we will be choosing the repeatable and we will choosing a theme i will be typing test because I will eventually delete this custom type so once you click on create a new custom type you can now decide how the custom type will look for example it will have a unique ID and this will be unique ID of the test field so test UID you can name it anything you want and this is how it will be referenced and you don't need to write any placeholder right now press ok other than this it will have a title and the title would be let's just keep it title and you can decide if it will have h1 h2 or which type of heading i'll be choosing only h1 or h2 and press ok and now it will have a rich text rich text can have anything from images embeds code snippets points <coughs> anything so write the name this will be let's say description of the a description of the article and you don't need to write any placeholder and click OK and then you can have a image this image you can also use the images that are allowed in a rich text but if you want to implement a standalone image for example a featured image you can use this so let's click it and then you can write featured image and you can reference it like this and then you can decide if it's going to be responsive if you don't write any width and height uh, you don't you don't have to write any width or height if you are not sure what height or width will be of the image and then you can press ok then you can also use a date and just um, you can write here published and press ok and then you can have select boolean embed even a geo point but right now i will not use that and now you can save it all right so once you have created a new custom type so we have now <clears throat> three custom types article test and trending and now you can write a article for example you can here create a new and you can choose which kind of article you want to create for example we have already used these custom types article trending and now we have created the new one test so if you click on text test you can write the title so if you write this is a test you will see that the test uid is created by using the title slug and then you can write a description which is a rich text so you can write some text here and you can also use bullet points and you can embed links and bullet points and images and you can embed other items also and then you can choose a date and then you can use a featured image and once you click it save you are ready to publish it and then you can publish it and once you click it you can publish it now or you can choose a specific time to release but we'll click it publish now and now this has turned green and you can access it from your front end but we have already used these articles and trending so we don't need, need this type of a custom type so i am going to delete it and first off you are go you have to unpublish it so unpublish now and now you can delete this so delete the test article and now you can even remove this custom type so I'm going to disable this and now this has been disabled and even the disabled you can permanently del delete it so that's how the custom types work in prismic.io now to connect this prismic CMS to our app we will have to download some dependencies using npm 
So once you are inside the app, you will have to install a few libraries. So type in npm i and then prismic javascript and prismic react.js all right the installation has completed now to connect this front end to the headless cms create a file called prismic configuration dot js and inside it import prismic from prismic javascript and then you have to export const api endpoint is equal to now this api endpoint you require it it will be from the dashboard so go to the dashboard and go to the settings here you go to the api and security and here here is the uh, api access endpoint so copy it and for the api access token you don't require access token because the public the api is public but if you want to use features like preview you will have to use the access token but right now we will use the public api for that you don't need an access token and just copy this and then go to their directory and here paste the access token that you got and for example later you want to use the access token you can use that too but we are going to keep it empty for now all right all right so now we will create a prismic client object so creating a prismic client object for this we will write a function called export const client and this takes a request which is by default a null this request will have options that we can use and let's type in so type in prismic dot client and the client takes two objects first is the api endpoint so we already have that api endpoint and then second is the object that we pass the object the object first contains the request options that we have um, taken here as input and the second object uh, and the second part of the object is the access token that we can pass or not pass depending on our need so instead of um, passing this object what we are going to do is use a function called let's create the function here first so that function would be const create um, const create client options and this will be a arrow function and this will take the request object that was passed initially and obviously this will be initialized with null and then you will pass in the prismic access token which will be initialized null because chances are it may not be present and then you can write const request option is equal to it will depend if the request exists then this will be an object otherwise the object would be empty and then we will do the same for access token option and then we will check if the prismic access token exists then it will be the same object but with a different name access token and this would be prismic access token else it would be empty object and now it will return an object and now we are going to use the spread of the spread operator for request option and now we will spread access token option and yeah that's it now this function is going to return an object of this type and this is what we are going to pass here so type create client options and what it takes it takes a request so first pass the request and then 
the second thing that it wants is an access token so type in the access token this access token will be taken from here but it's empty so it will check if it's null here access token so this would be false so it will just use the empty object here so that's it we have created a prismic client uh, we have created a prismic client object here and now we can use this client to uh, communicate with our backend CMS all right so just start npm run dev we'll start the dev server and now we have already connected the prismic backend to our front end now let's check if this is working now to check if the prismic configuration is working and whether we have connected our front end to the backend cms of prismic we will do a query to the cms for this you need to import the prismic from the prismic javascript and we will be using a next.js function called get server side prop now this function is special because it will be called every time a request is made to the server that is every time the site reloads so um, this function is called every time a request is made or refresh and now you can type in export it is a async function and you can write get server side props and here you will type in const let's say if we are querying the articles from the backend cms we will type in await because it's an async function and then we will have client now this is the client of this is the client object that we will import from the prismic configuration here and now you will type await client and then you have a function called query now you can query the articles using your client and to query uh, only the articles type that we have created in our backend cms we will use prismic dot predicates now predicates is used to filter out the content so type in document dot type so this will filter out all the documents with the type article and now what you can do is check if this is working so type in console and then articles and also you have to return something in the get server side prop so right now type in return and props and let's just keep it empty for now but we will later on be returning this prop and this can be imported here and the home can use all those articles that we have fetched from the backend cms and can be reflected here in the layout so right now let's just refresh and if you go to the website and you reload it you will see that in the console we have got some objects so you can see compiled successful and we have some got some result here so now that we have connected well to the backend cms in the next video we will be using the dynamic routes in next.js to create our article pages and then we will title them using the tailwind css and after that we will be going back to deploy it and after that we will deploy our app to Vercel.